I'm pleased to be part of today's launch of the Creative Economy Report 2013, Widening Local Development Pathways, a report which shows how fundamental creativity and culture are to development. At this time, as we're working to accelerate progress on the Millennium Development Goals ahead of the 2015 target date, and with the design of the post-2015 Global Development Agenda underway, we need to be promoting all possible drivers of inclusive and sustainable development. In 2011, world trade of creative goods and services was measured at $624 billion. The cultural and the creative industries are important engines of economic growth. They generate jobs and incomes and contribute to individual and community well-being in both developed and developing economies. Speaking from my personal experience as Prime Minister of New Zealand, uh, who also had responsibility for the ministerial portfolio of arts, culture and heritage, I do know how nurturing culture and the creative sectors can translate into substantial society and economic benefits. This year's special edition of the Creative Economy Report is a result of a partnership between UNESCO and the United Nations Office for South-South Cooperation, which is hosted by UNDP. The report builds on two previous such reports, produced by UNDP with UNCTAD in 2008 and 2010. These focused on the global growth and impact of the creative economy on international trade. This 2013 report shows how culture and creative industries can enable and drive inclusive and sustainable development. And it looks at how that impact could be enhanced. It highlights case studies and offers concrete recommendations to policymakers on how they could boost their country's creative and cultural sectors. The report also notes initiatives where United Nations agencies have come together to support innovative culture and development programs including those done with the support of the MDG Achievement Fund, which was generously funded by the Government of Spain, and those funded by UNESCO's International Fund for Cultural Diversity. Looking ahead, the development potential of creativity and culture needs to be harnessed by all countries, including developing countries which are seeking to diversify their economies. The UN Development System is committed to supporting countries in these efforts. Our task team on culture and development, which is co-led by UNDP and UNESCO, is working to see that the UN can respond effectively to the growing interest of its member states in programming which links creativity and culture to development. So I wish you all the best for this very important launch today and I do hope the report gets broad interest and uptake.